lucky. See, if you have a model like this one, which I just snatched from the library, I can start by deleting any empty on it, rotate it if needed, and don't forget to apply the rotation. Then we can see if it's one piece or if it's of multiple parts, because we want each piece alone, and you can check that easily by switching the solid view to random colors. Then if it's one part or you want to separate any piece alone, just highlight all in edit mode, hit P, and separate by loose parts. Next thing to do is making sure the model don't have modifiers on it, so press A to select all, go to object menu, then convert to mesh, because some modifier like the mirror can mess things around. Also, while everything is selected, go to the same object menu and set origin to geometry, so each piece has its pivot at mass center. Now from the top, make it drop, I mean change the pivot transform to 3D cursor, and in tools tab, check the location so we lock the rotation and scale. What left is just scaling on one of the axes, so just hit S to scale, and the pieces will scatter along the axis you want, whether it's the X, Y, Z, or all at once. Doing this as animation can be achieved with keyframes. So hit I to add a keyframe while the model is assembled, then drag the key along the timeline to any frame depending on the length you want. Then go back to frame 1, scale the model to explode it, hit I to save it this way at frame 1, and now the animation can go between the two keyframes. You can look into how to play with keyframe to produce a smooth animation, might add an extra key to control the speed at the start, all up to you. And that's it. Hope this been fun. Do like and sub for the horde and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.